Hello, all you beautiful beings, and welcome back. So I've wanted to make a video response to this person for a while now. When I first saw him, my reaction was... Greetings, Magogonites, and welcome back. Well, I know it's been a little while. I've been quite busy with my studies at the Academy of Magi in Runevald. It's exhausting. But I'm almost done. Another 14 weeks, and you and I can have more time together. <laughs> uh, speaking of learning about magic, though, I decided to do a little research into magic of your world. Oh. My. Word. It... it can't be. That... that cannot be real. That cannot be real. This person can't be serious. This has to be a Poe, right? But no. He seems to be 100% genuine. Genuine and dressed up like what the Emperor might be, might be if Star Wars had been directed by Tim Burton. And that's not a dig at the guy. I actually quite like his aesthetic. It's just the fact that he's using it to be yet another reactionary dickhead that annoys me. Gives all us respectable freaks a bad name. Now, I honestly could respond to any one of this guy's videos. He's completely tone deaf about race issues. He has the same raging hate boner for BuzzFeed as every other reactionary on YouTube. He is the general political literacy of an amoeba. Like I said, this trend is the internet subculture version of one of my dad's old old records that skips. It would explain the Eddie Prince of the Netherworld aesthetic. How, after all, how many cartoon animals, knights, memes, and plague doctors are there to keep regurgitating the rhetoric of a demographic that gets smaller and smaller and smaller with each passing generation? Oh, look at that. He has a video where he called out Daddy05. Um, yeah, yeah, he can have one of these. But if there's one thing I can't stand more than reactionary shadows, it's people who mess with my friends and people who who misrepresent science. So I'm going to take on a video where he does all three of those things. Roll the tape. Hello, Magogonites, and welcome. I know there has been much going on in your world lately. Statues are being torn down. Riots in the streets. Mass hysteria! Well, this pleases me. But the more you fight amongst yourselves, the easier it will be for me to conquer you. Sheesh, even I used to laugh at guys like this when I was in school. <laughs> so we're not going to talk about all that right now. Instead, we're going to relax and have a little laugh at a moron. How does that sound? Let's get started. Who could it be? Who could it be? I just can't imagine who. The gender binary is a myth. It's untrue. Half of my audience just killed themselves. Thanks, man. Oh, oh no. No, 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 you do. You did not. You did not go there. <clears throat> I have... Luckily for him, I have my anger comber on my lap. Thank you very much, Loki. So I can... I can get through this as an adult. Proceed... There's no evidence you can provide to prove it, um, and therefore, your claims of logic based around the gender binary can't be proven or true, because you haven't proven the initial aspect of your argument. I literally do not understand a word coming out of your mouth. And it's not that you don't know how to speak properly, which you don't. It's the words you're spewing, they're just... wrong. They don't belong in sentences together. DOES NOT WORDS WRITE! Okay, let me walk you through this. 
Science, as we know it right now, does not support the idea that gender is binary. Do you understand? You see, I can be a, a snarky little shit too. It's not hard. Um, the idea that gender is relating, related exclusively to sex is uh, unprovable because you can't prove that um, genitalia determines gender. Gender can't be proven by genitals. How many genitals do you people have in your world? See, male have penis, female have vagina. What do the in-between people have? Tentacles? Crab claws? Do forked dragon tongues appear from betwixt your legs? What... What kind of strange pornography do you watch? <sighs> um, chromosomes again, not only are there not, there's more than two pairings of chromosomes. Um, but again, there's no actual proof beyond the statement gender is related to chromosomes, but that's true. Ah, the chromosome argument. Once again, are there non-humans born from humans in your world? I think you're talking about a rare mutation where someone might be born with a strange pairing of X and Y. Yes, I read shit from your world. I'm not a fucking savage. Okay, look, Maggie. <clears throat> Can I call you Maggie? Fuck it, I don't care. If you read shit from our world, whatever kind of weird thing you're trying to pull here, <clears throat> you sure you sure didn't cite it in any of your links below your video. You you cited your uh, your minds your minds dot com profile, which all you reactionaries tend to have. A bunch of your merch sites, social media, all that. No evidence. Okay. According to the 2015 Nature.com article, Sex Redefined, sex can be much more complicated than, it, than it, it, it at first seems. According to the simple scenario, the presence or absence of a Y chromosome is what counts. With it, you are male. Without it, you are female. But doctors have long known that some people straddle the boundary. Their sex chromosomes say one thing, but their gonads, ovaries or testes, or sexual anatomy say another. Parents of children with these kind of conditions, known as intersex conditions, or differences or disorders of sexual development, or DSDs, often face difficult decisions about whether to bring their child up as a boy or a girl. Some researchers now say that as many as 1 in 100 people have has some form of DSD. So, yeah, it's not a rare, it's not exactly a rare genetic mutation. Not necessarily. Um, so again, using that argument is incorrect. You have no actual proof beyond your own transphobia and your own what you're used to. Biology is transphobia, apparently. <laughs> yeah, this is getting harder to watch. I think I need the protection of my Pepe eyes. Uh, oh, great, another frog boy. And I just cited biology. Look cotton out of your frickin' ears. And thus, you have no actual element of logic to deny the existence of non-binary people. <laughs> not funny. Plus not funny. Equals not fucking funny! I mean, do these people have to go back to film 101? If you want a joke to work, you need humor! Don't you know that?! Thus, a trans woman is a woman, because you can't define the thing that would make her not a woman as proof, or as true. Thus, non-binary people are completely valid. It's time to put away the uh, elements of the past in regards to gender, and realize we're moving towards a world that is a more normal one. What you call normal isn't fucking normal, and you have nothing to back up your claims. You just want the world to be how you want it to be. Well, nature doesn't fucking agree with you. And nature wins. Am I the only one who's surprised at this point that he doesn't g g thumb his nose and go nya 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 nya? <sighs> also, it's my favorite when people claim who claim to be um, fans of skepticism and rationality use appeal to nature fallacies. It's my favorite. 
And um, actually, no, uh, biology also um, also agrees with uh, the um, legitimacy of non-binary genders. So there's that to think about. Let me ask you something. A man who transitions to become a woman physically, can that trans woman biologically bear children? You are aware that not all cis women can biologically bear children, right? This is not a new phenomenon, and it's not just those of us who choose not to. Some legitimately can't. Um, and often you see people saying, Oh, well, if they're not a woman, how can they look like one? And only is that a really bad argument, because um, there's no real logic there. That's because you talk to stupid people. A man can look like a woman physically, sure, with the right surgery or magic or whatever. They still can't biologically carry a child or produce eggs for sperm to fertilize. You're a sexually dimorphic species. Get over it. Again, there are cis women who can't bear children. There are cis women who don't ovulate. It's like... These conditions exist, but you just, you, you don't live in the real world. It's just... <sighs> and ultimately, we need to move past the uh, gender binary because, like I said, there's no proof for it. There's no actual element of truth to um, gender being determined by these things, and thus we have to go forward beyond that and we have to accept and validate and realize that these people who are claiming to be non-binary aren't lying aren't making it up it's truthful there's something wrong with your brain that word salad that just spewed forth from your dick sucker made absolutely no fucking sense i literally can't understand you <clears throat> look maggie um there are a lot of people who would think it's, like, really weird that in these videos you wear a lot of, like, lipstick and eyeliner and, you know, makeup, which people, like, <laughs> people, like, associate with being womanly. Um, in fact, like, goth punk subcultures, there are cis men who wear makeup. <clears throat> so... It's like, that's worth thinking about. It's like, so... So, I do understand that this is just a character you, you put on, and I am and I don't actually know your real name. Uh, but there are guys, there, there, there are guys, there are women, there are people who could really benefit from us as a society moving past gender binary. So, it's worth thinking about, you know. Um, and consequently... Um, we shouldn't be continually denying their existence. Oh, for fuck's sake, no one is denying that people exist that want to be something else. We're just denying you telling us that somehow 99% of the world is fucking wrong because they're straight and attracted to the opposite sex. <laughs> wow. I mean, wow, this is the crowd that claims to be so against people playing the victim. Y'all want to be victimized so badly that you actually think that people are against you being cisgender and being straight? No one gives a shit. I don't care. I, I'm a cis woman. I happen to also, I happen to be attracted to men as well as women. It's like... It's... Nobody wants you to be ashamed of it. No one wants to say there's something wrong with you because of that. But can you maybe not be a dick to trans people and and um, non-binary people and people who fall outside the hetero cis norm you want to uphold so well? Could you maybe do that? That'd be super. Um, on Twitter... You see these people just um, going on and on with these, oh, gender is sex, gender is chromosomes, uh, I don't believe in non-binary, and then when you ask them to elaborate beyond that, they can't. And they, they wouldn't be able to because there aren't any studies which would back up what they're saying. People link articles saying, oh, these are chromosomes, and there'll be nothing there, and that's S-Man Speaks there for you. Um, 
Somehow you keep talking to people who can't fully articulate what they know to be true. Hell, I'm not even going to provide any links to back up my claim. Why? We literally have biology on our side. Nature. All you have to do is read a biology book, flip to the chapter about sexual reproduction, and go up from there. Well, I guess I'll give you a point for admitting your own intellectual laziness. I, ha on the other hand, have actually found um, biology t sources that are updated and basically say that, yes, this is all what Owen is saying is basically legit. <laughs> and for God's sake, do you, you see no, you have no qualms with un unironically using the appeal to nature fallacy. Good on ya. Oh, fuck's sake. I bet Mommy told you the stork brought you. No. Spoiler alert, kid. Daddy fucked Mommy and made you. A hundred million sperm and you were the fastest. Ow! 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 Oh, no! 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 I say that violence is the solution, but in this test, I say definitely choose answer F for f But I guess like, beyond that, other people who have tried to argue against the uh, non-binary uh, line of argument don't have any real substance to their points. Um, looking back to a video I posted a few weeks ago saying that there were more than two genders, um, and asking for proof of the initial statement. Lots of people took it the wrong way and said, oh, well, where's your proof for non-binaries and stuff? Where's your proof? Prove it. Um, and you've missed a point because you haven't proved the initial statement you need to back up your logic. No, they don't. Once again, they have biology on their side. You're the one spouting bullshit. You need to provide proof for your outlandish claims. Probably is none. Nice try, Maggie. My claims are well sourced. There is evidence for every th single thing Owen is saying in this video. Uh, but the problem with, well, a problem with a lot of these with a lot of these channels is that they really want to have their cake and eat it too. They want to have the reputation of being rational and rational and slapping down stupidity or whatever label they're going with, with it this week, but they don't want to do any of the tedious brain work and, you know, actual research work that's involved in doing it. And, you know, you can't really, you can't, you can't, it's like just because you call yourself rational or skeptical or say, claim you're slapping down stupidity doesn't make it true. It's like how Fox News claims they're fair and balanced. It's like they're no such thing. And the argument that, oh, gender's not a binary, doesn't just erase male and female existence. All it says is that the existence of non binary people and the existence of trans people is legitimate and real. And these are real people with just different genders to what has been used to for. Uh, the majority of human history. No one is denying the existence of trans people. We know they exist. In fact, their very existence proves there are only two genders because they are trying to transition from one to the other. No in between. A man is trying to become a woman. A woman is trying to become a man. That is what it means to transition. The hamster on the wheel inside your head is fucking dead. A dumpster fire in the middle of the ocean makes more fucking sense than you do. Again, Maggie, are you listening? He brought up non-binary people too. It's like... Sheesh. It's like the, there's... It's like selective listening. You only, listen, you only hear what you want to hear. You can't be bothered to research anything. You say you don't need to research anything. These videos are really are all the same. Um, so it's time to move beyond that. It's time to accept there are non-binaries and it's time to put the gender binary to bed.
Well, McGoganites, I do hope you enjoyed this horrible display of ideological bullshit. I swear to God, it's guys like whatever his name is that end up in the streets wearing a mask, cracking somebody over the skull with a bike lock because their feelings got hurt. Boo hoo. You are so black. I'm not black, you're black. I'm not black, you're black. I don't know what you're talking about. You're oh. so obviously the black one. I mean, for crying out loud. Says the, says the grown man in Hot Topic makeup getting getting salty in his butt because a 19-year-old made a video made a video about about gender and sex being a spectrum. Boo freaking who. Your world is weakening with the birth of every ignorant generation. You know, I'd actually thought that you would be hard to conquer. That I would have a fight on my hands. But by the time I discover the magics to cross the veil into your world, it will be run by ideologically driven, science-denying crybaby morons like this fucking prick. As I've clearly proven, it's you who's denying science. It's like, you can't just say, I like this old science, but then when new science comes along that says that you're wrong, you can't, you just plug your ears and go, la la la, I can't hear you. It's like when people start freaking out at um, Bill Nye's new show on Netflix. It's just like, seriously. Um, H-Bomber guy has done two great videos on that that I'm going to link below. Um... Yeah, so I won't even bother covering that. Oh, sweet tears. It'll be so easy now. Like stealing candy from an SJW. If you touch my chocolate, I, I swear you will pull back a nub. Thanks for watching. I'm Magog. And I will conquer you. Also... Chatelet, motherfuckers!